Hello everybody, this is Chris, otherwise known as the Big Boo Baller, back with another NBA 2K21 My Team News video. Today we are going to be talking about the Sapphire Evolution Kobe Bryant that you will receive if you pre-order the Mamba Forever Edition on either the current gen consoles or the next gen consoles. So stick around if you guys are interested on how to get a jump start on your NBA 2K21 My Team. And if you guys are interested in other NBA 2K21 news videos and future My Team tips and tricks, whether currently for NBA 2K20 or in the future for NBA 2K21, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and stay tuned for more content. Also ring that notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, if you guys did not already know, if you pre-ordered the Mamba Forever edition of NBA 2K21, no matter which version you are pre-ordering, you will get a bunch of bonus content, including some My Player accessories, some My Player boosts, and also some My Team content, including a Sapphire Evolution Kobe Bryant, which will Evo into a Ruby, according to the pre-order information that we have received so far for NBA 2K21. Now, if you guys remember from the beginning of NBA 2K20, my team, if you pre-ordered the Legends Edition with Dwayne Wade on the cover, you would receive a Sapphire Dwayne Wade my team card. However, that card was not an evolution card. It was a static card. And I don't think that card was used for more than at least a few weeks for most players on my team mode. However, if you started the Dwayne Wade Spotlight Challenges, after completing the first challenge, you would receive a Sapphire Evolution Dwayne Wade that would eventually work its way up to an Amethyst player. So keeping that in mind, my prediction is that with NBA 2K21, my team, this Sapphire Evolution Kobe Bryant may actually be required for some of the challenges to start off the my team mode. Whether they're called Spotlight Challenges or they're called player evolution challenges, whatever they're going to be. I have a hunch that that card is going to be utilized at some point and maybe there will be a way to get him without pre-ordering the Mamba Forever edition of the game. We'll just have to wait and see and find out. Obviously we only know so much so far. We haven't even seen any gameplay of NBA 2K21 and the game's going to come out in about five to six weeks from the time I'm uploading this video. So we don't know much yet still. Uh, there's a lot of people speculating that this game is going to look a lot similar to NBA 2K20, at least on the current gen consoles, and then when we upgrade to the next gen consoles this holiday season, uh, our My Team mode, along with all the other modes, are going to be ramped up and enhanced greatly. Although, keep in mind as well that for the My Team mode, we have been told by 2K that all of our progress on the current gen consoles for NBA 2K21 My Team will transfer over to the next generation of consoles on NBA 2K21. Does that mean we'll have the same challenges available to us, the same players available to us? Uh, we'll just have to wait and find out. According to 2K, all of the players and everything will move over to the other game. Whether that means we're going to have current gen specific challenges or next gen specific challenges, we'll just, we'll just have to find out. We don't know anything yet. Unfortunately, we haven't been given enough news. I'm just speculating that based on the fact that the pre-order bonus is now an evolution card. And last year when my team came out and we had the introduction of evolution cards, that card was required for spotlight challenges. And so my guess is that this player could possibly be required for future challenges, whether they're called spotlight or something else. And unfortunately, it makes it look like a pay to win system. However, since this is a Sapphire upgrading to a Ruby, and at this point in the year, everybody's getting Galaxy Opals for practically for free, especially if you're, you know, typing in locker codes every single day and playing some of the challenges in Spotlight Sim, you're gonna get at least a couple Galaxy Opals without even trying very hard. So, I'm not too concerned about NBA 2K21 my team becoming a pay to win mode or at least more of a pay to win mode than it already is. Some people would argue that my team already is that. But again, all speculation. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you are looking forward to more NBA 2K21 my team content, be sure to like and subscribe to the Big Blue Baller Buckets YouTube channel. Also, if you guys want to see some MT making tips on NBA 2K20, go ahead and click the video on your left. And if you are looking for some more NBA 2K21 news, click the video on your right. Again, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And to all my big blue ballers out there, let's get that bread. And I will see you all on the next one.